correct question okay so our next topic is a uh, model view controller pattern for web apis okay so whenever we will create the apis uh, we need to follow some patterns like uh, in order to uh, like identify which pattern you are working so other developers can um, quickly uh, understand your project architecture and start working with it so in web apis you can see uh, by default whenever you will create a new web api uh, it will ask you which pattern you want to follow for creating the web api so in that case you can just choose web app web api application with model view controller pattern so in that case you will have one controller folder here okay so inside the controller we can actually have the endpoints and in apis there is no views okay you don't have to create views for your apis because uh api can only return the response in json format not in html format there is no server side pages as well so that's why we need to uh we we don't have the views in the mvc apis so we can have controllers and we can have models why we require models because if you want to pass the data from one api to another api if you want to pass the data from one class to another class for your business logic purpose so some classes you will require in order to hold the data as a container and pass them from one component to another component so for that we require the models okay how to create models just right click on the project okay go here add new folder and then you can just create the models folder like this here you can mention models okay so let's say i want to create one api for save book or create new book in the database so how you will do that you can just do like this okay so if you want to save the book you will get you will have to mention here post http post okay not get because for storing the book you might need to send large payload from the ui like book info author name then book price then library name too many things right so if you want to send more than uh, three to four parameters always go with the post because post will help you to send the large amount of data as a request payload from the browser and this url will not be display in the address bar it you can call the post method as a background call or form submit okay so what i will do i will just change it to save book okay so this is your save book method this method wants the data from the uh request payload and that request whatever data you will pass as a request payload should be get bind with the one of the model here so that model you can create inside the models folder okay i want to create new model class okay let's say book model okay add so inside the book model we can have the properties about books properties like book id okay then string book name then string author name okay like this so we are having three properties in your book now this book you can take as a parameter like this okay but from where you will get the information that you will have to mention here from body from body so from body means whatever value you want to map with this object or parameter that value you will get from the body of your request request body okay and we can just print that value as a response book name 
book name is equal to book dot name created successfully let's say okay so we can just confirm whatever book name we have passed from the request body got assigned to this variable or not if yes then it should get printed here okay so two things we just learned one is how to create http post endpoint along with the from body attribute and second thing why we require model why we require model then we require that for uh, passing the data from one component to another component from the ui i want to pass the book related information that i we can hold into the book model here what kind of information id name author name okay here we have created two variables but in this case we don't have to create two variables only one variable can hold the information about multiple variables got it so that's why we require the http post action method now let me run this project yeah if you see this output now here you will get one more post api this is get this is post okay this post api will help you to pass the data from the request body so this is your request body if you notice in the get apis there is no requ request body section okay there, this is the parameter section but in the post api you will have the request body section with the raw json here you can pass the information like id is equal to one name is equal to let's say uh, book one okay author name is equal to my author like this so whatever information you will pass here if i apply the breakpoint and click on the execute button if you see this book variable you can see id is assigned to the id variable author name got assigned to the author name variable name assigned uh, name got assigned to the name variable from the book model and this will print the message like this book name equal to book one created successfully okay so this is why we require the model this is why uh, we require this from body attribute and this is how we can create the http post endpoint by using the ASP.NET Core APIs. Okay, let me stop here.